I am currently two to three centimeters dilated already. One of the best Facebook marketplace finds I've ever found. We're gonna build her swing, we're gonna organize her clothes. If I have time, I'm gonna pack my hospital bag too. One preemie outfit, one newborn outfit, without a doubt bringing to the hospital this time. And then you're strolling. It is the best. Change your diaper? No. another week. Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. I am so pumped for today's video. We are officially 37 weeks. This is the mark where they say it is actually okay to already give birth. And as you guys know in our previous video, I am currently two to three centimeters dilated already. And apparently when you get to like four centimeters, it means you're in active labor. So I'm at three right now which is very close to four, which is freaking me out, which means I don't have that much time left. <laughs> I mean, size-wise, I am definitely getting there. I feel like I was a little bit bigger when I was with Aaliyah. So as much as I know all these videos lately have all been about baby, listen, at the end of the day, you guys, this is my channel. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what's currently going on in my life. And what's currently going on is that I'm freaking out a little bit that the baby's gonna come before I'm ready. If this baby wants to come early, she is coming early. So for today's video, I wanna make sure that I'm as prepared for that as possible. We got some new baby furniture I'm gonna show you. We're gonna build her swing we're gonna organize her clothes and if i have time i'm gonna pack my hospital bag too fueling up with some much needed coffee for now because we're about to get started we're gonna start off with me sharing one of the best facebook marketplace finds i've ever found basically you guys know this is our living room we do want to have a space for baby to be sleeping here obviously because i am going to be spending a lot of time on the main floor so my dream a little bassinet is one that i've seen on like multiple youtube channels and this is it this is called the nesting and the way that it works is it starts off as a super small bassinet but it comes with certain attachments that you can add onto it and kind of like make a bigger crib as your baby grows and turn it into a toddler bed eventually. It's over $800 just for the crib, so no. <laughs> but the other day I went ahead and I was scrolling on Facebook Marketplace, which you guys know is my absolute favorite thing ever, and I saw something. Something that really resembled the nested crib and I was super confused because it was listed for just $70. Here's the photo because obviously I took a screenshot when I saw it and it was literally the nested brand. I was freaking out. I turned to Ed and I was like, Eran, I can't believe it. Somebody is literally selling this for $70 and I don't know why. Clearly, this guy did not know the value of what he had. And basically, a long story short, you guys. I got it! I can't believe that we have it. Oh, I forgot the mattress. Here's the little mattress that comes with it and... And like, I literally have my dream bassinet now for $70. So this is just like the phase one of the bassinet when you can still use it for a newborn. And then here in Aaliyah's room, we're actually just keeping the rest of the bassinet. So the full crib and the toddler bed, it's right over here. So you guys, we literally got an entire crib that's worth almost $900 with tax for $70. Dollars and this part was not even touched. It's brand new in the box So that's basically my little exciting story on how I got this The only downside is that because this was just kind of in the moving truck It got like a bunch of like greasy scuffs on it So this is where my magic eraser comes to the rescue and literally all I have to do is just clean it up and it comes right off So I just finished up a laundry cycle, but before I start folding and putting away her clothes, I thought I would show you guys a few of the things that I picked up from Amazon to kind of help me with the organization. First off, I got one of these little diaper caddies. I wanted one to have on the main floor and then one to have downstairs. And it has these compartments that you can take out if you really want to, but I like having them separate so I can have like a pocket for the diapers, a pocket for wipes. And this is just so convenient to have one on each floor so that if we have to go do diaper changes, we don't always have to bring her to a changing table. And then for the actual like store, drawers these are just foldable boxes that you kind of zip up like this and I thought I can go and fold in all of her clothes in like different compartments and different boxes something that I actually saw from my sister-in-law rather than putting a box in the actual drawer you can just go and separate the big drawers into smaller compartments I'm trying to figure out how oh let me see how we can make this work 
Okay, dimension wise, these boxes actually fit kind of perfect into this. So maybe I'm gonna have the separators up here in the smaller bin. Yeah, okay, I like that, very smart. Okay, this is kind of like how I split everything up. So this is basically all the newborn sleepers. They're all zip ups, if you guys notice. They're just so much easier to handle than the button ones. This is all the t-shirt onesies. We got the long sleeve onesies over here. And then we have a more newborn and just kind of like one pieces. These are really cool actually because they have a rubber band bottom. So for diaper changes at night, it's super easy. You just pull it up, change a diaper and you're good to go. to get Aliyah, I thought this would be a good time for me to actually eat something. And basically I'm just eating leftovers today. We got some rice, salad, and salmon leftover from yesterday, and I made myself some avocado toast with some feta on top. Mmm, what can I say? I always have to try to eat before Aliyah comes home, because when she comes home, she always wants my food, which is okay. But then I lose my appetite and I don't eat. <laughs> Aliyah's home! I was just saying how I'm trying to eat very quickly before she comes home because then she'll steal all my food. Yeah, exactly, so you're screwed. <laughs> you want to see? You want to see how she's going to come? going to want to eat my food right away. Alia, hi. Hi, pretty girl. Say hello, everybody. Hello. 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 You want um-um? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she wants rice. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Tasty. 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 Is the swing complicated to build? Because there's actually this baby swing that we had back in Canada. Let me see if I could find a picture of Aaliyah using it. It is the Fisher Price Snuggle Puppy Swing. And as much as it's a swing that like takes up so much space and it's not like the most aesthetic, every baby loves it. So we got it on Facebook Marketplace, which is honestly, as you guys can tell, buying secondhand is such a great way for you guys to actually go ahead and save money. Oh, Evan, you know what you should show them? You want to show them the Duna that we got? If you know what the Duna is, it's something that I've wanted for so long. And it's basically a car seat that you press a button and the wheels come down and it basically becomes like a tiny little stroller but they're $550 before tax which is honestly really expensive for a car seat that you're only going to use for up to a year because it's an infant car seat there was a couple that was selling their Duna on Facebook marketplace for how much did we get it for like 250 bucks or something yeah okay so as a car seat that's kind of like what it looks like and then when you want to go ahead and it turn it into a stroller what do you do you like press the button you on the back you just press the red thing and then you pull it up and then it's kind of drops yeah oh, that's and the then, best thing and then you could pull I up i think you just go like that and then you just kind of go like that and then you're strolling it is the best and Abaca stop. You're this being is a good investment. It's honestly the best, guys. The only thing that you do want to keep in mind if you are yeah. buying secondhand, especially when it comes to car seats, make sure they send you a photo of the expiration dates because if obviously the Duna is like really old or someone had it for a couple of years, there's actually an expiration date that you can use the car seat up until. But this one was purchased like earlier this year, so we're yeah. set for many years with it. Aliyah! Look at this! You can see that's Aliyah's like toddler stroller. That's the one that kind of we use for her. But this is definitely going to be a really nice one to use for baby. We're already putting a little baby in here so she can practice. It's the sweetest thing. Put baby inside. Good job, Aaliyah. Yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> Go take her for a walk. <laughs> wow. All right, gonna set you guys down right over here. I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to go and actually pack my hospital bag because as you guys know, we have a couple weeks left and I'm at a point where I need to feel prepared to like pick up and leave as soon as it happens. This is the bag that I'm gonna be using. It is huge, it's legit the perfect duffel bag. It's got so many compartments inside. Last time I brought a bag for myself, I brought a diaper bag for baby. It was just too much stuff to carry. What I'm gonna do this time around instead is just bring this bag with me and bring some little packing cubes with with me. One gonna be for Edan stuff, one gonna be for baby stuff, and then the rest of the bag is all gonna be stuff for me. And this is gonna help keep everything organized, but yet still keep it all in one place. So the first thing I'm bringing for myself is an obvious thing, but it's your wallet and your ID. I have to make sure to have my insurance card with me, otherwise I'm gonna be leaving with a very, very hefty bill. So I'm gonna start off with the clothes I'm bringing, something I learned from last time. I didn't know if I would want something really tight or really loose after I give birth, and I did really prefer something loose last time around. It's basically a pajama set, but I love these so much because 
they are super stretchy so just because my hormones have been all over the place sometimes i'm so cold sometimes i am so hot i decided to bring two outfits the second outfit i'm wearing is just another pj set but this one is a shorts version these are actually maternity shorts that i can go ahead and even wear now but for postpartum i really like maternity clothes because you still have a really big belly after you give birth which a lot of people don't realize so this second set from h&m i'm gonna be bringing as well and in terms of underwear i don't know what size my boobs are gonna be by the time i deliver but i'm just bringing like a really stretchy bralette it doesn't have any padding or anything because i don't really care to have support or anything like that after i give birth i'm gonna be bringing myself two cotton regular basic undies but something else that you may want to consider is disposable style underwear so these first ones were ones that i wore last time these are from freedom mom and they're basically like a disposable underwear short situation and then something else that i actually didn't use last time around but my sister-in-law suggested was pretty much getting yourself like a diaper underwear situation these ones are super cute they're really stretchy they have a very nice thick band that it can go over your belly as well these are from the always brand they're the always discreet ones so i'm going to be bringing two of those so that i have one for each day we're going to be staying one pair of socks okay a couple other postpartum things that i think will be so useful to have first we got a peri bottle so the hospital does provide one but they provide the ones that are literally just like straight and they're squeezable what i really enjoyed about the freedom on peri bottle is that it actually has a sprayer that's angled and this is so much better than to just have the ones that are straight on because it kind of easily reaches the place that you want it to get to so i think it's worth it to bring especially with the amount of times i'm probably going to be cleaning myself up in those first 24 hours i'm also going to be packing in some nipple cream i didn't have this last time around and honestly i just had horrible nipple pain especially in the beginning of my pregnancy this is the earth mama organic nipple butter and it's not medicated but it is still a super popular one and then the last thing that i don't have on me because i'm hoping that the hospital will actually give me is actually a numbing spray for down there i think it's called dermoblast that's something i really want to have but i'm not going to bring it myself because the hospital provides it and my sister-in-law just said whatever the hospital gives you like take even if they have disposable undies diapers any of that kind of stuff she's like hey you also want to bring phone charger with like a super long extra cord like this one is maybe like eight feet or something because the bed is usually like in the middle of the room and sometimes the outlet plugs can be super far so bringing a phone charger with an extra long cord is not just nice to have but it's a must i'm also going to be bringing my airpods or ear pods whatever it may be and something else that so many people say is amazing to have is a fan i just remember sweating so much especially when i was pushing i was just so hot so a lot of people do recommend getting a fan this one i love because it's bendy it's like a tripod so i could even have it attached to my bedside and just have it keep going and keep blowing on my face hair ties toothbrush toothpaste all the basic essentials i'm also going to be filling up this little bag right here with a little bit of makeup okay i this time around i want to look good you don't give birth every day and i feel like i definitely want to go ahead and take more pictures than i did last time i'm definitely going to be bringing my water bottle that keeps water super ice cold and just be sipping on this as i need it because i personally like drinking from a straw and this is something that some people agree on some people disagree on i'm actually going to be bringing my nursing pillow with me i personally feel like breastfeeding is so much easier when you have proper support and i like having a nursing pillow this is a new one that i got from snuggle me and so far it feels super comfortable we're gonna see how it feels actually feeding on this and then oh my god i can't believe that i almost forgot this you guys this is something that i am without a doubt bringing to the hospital this time you may not know what it is but it's basically a different kind of pillow this is a pillow for your tushy slash your tailbone slash your hemorrhoids all the things that can go wrong in labor this is the pillow for it your butt crack basically is over here so that there's no actual pressure put in that tailbone area if you guys don't know in my last labor i actually ended up injuring my tailbone because of the way that i was positioned when i was pushing and ever since she was born i've literally been sitting on this pillow so i asked my doctor if i can try to give birth using this pillow i want to do everything i possibly can to avoid getting injured again this time because last time it was so brutal it was really bad all right mommy is pretty much packed for dad i am bringing a toothbrush and toothpaste charger and earbuds for him as well comfy clothes for him to sleep in and change into especially if we're going to be overnight and blanket and pillow i'm going to ask my sister-in-law if she thinks it's necessary but this time i want to make sure that he has all the essentials that he needs to be comfortable as well and finally we're going to get into the baby stuff so first in terms of outfits i brought so much clothes last time which like didn't even make sense because most of the time she was naked in a diaper in a swaddle but i did bring two different outfits i got one preemie size zip up sleeper it's in the cutest little pattern i feel like this will be such a nice thing for her to come home to and then i just got a regular newborn size simple outfit so just a long sleeve white onesie and then little pink pants for the bottom so two outfits one preemie outfit one newborn outfit it's all you need and 
I do want to take pictures of baby girl in the hospital so two little accessories can't hurt I got one of these like super stretchy bows that we can either put on her or just this little clip-on bow I'm gonna bring one of each of these just to have blankets and all that kind of stuff you don't need the hospital will provide you but I am gonna be bringing some pacifiers Ellen and I are not against giving babies pacifiers I feel like especially in the beginning it helps soothe them with all the changes going on in the world the first ones I'm bringing are the bibs Aaliyah really liked the bibs and these ones are super popular I got one in a rubber nipple and I also have one with the silicone nipple so we'll see which one she prefers but if these are actually gonna be the ones that I'm gonna be trying first they are the Avent ones they are so popular these are the ones that you can actually see how baby is sucking I don't think I know a single newborn who did not take well to these so for sure gonna be taking that with me and in terms of baby necessities that's pretty much it the two other things that I would say are really nice to bring if you can one would be a portable sound machine we did not have one last time but we actually had a pretty quiet room but I do feel like if we're in a hospital that's a lot noisier if nurses are always gonna be coming in a lot of people suggested bringing a small portable sound machine because in the belly it's actually very very noisy and that is what babies are used to and then the last thing that I would suggest to definitely bring for baby would either be some Vaseline or some olive oil for their bum so the first poop that baby has is actually black and it's pretty sticky just go and rub the inside of their bottom with a little bit of olive oil or Vaseline it really helps kind of keep it slick and moisturized so that in the case that they do poop it's not gonna stick so hard to their skin and be so difficult to remove if we don't give birth on Shabbat again I do really want to document a lot of the experience even if it's just everything leading up to the labor like the contractions whether I decide to get an epidural or not we're really gonna keep you guys in the loop if we can on this one and then the last thing on the list is very obvious it's our car seat we are gonna be bringing our Duna we already have the base installed in our car and ready to go and I guess that's pretty much it you guys that is everything that I'm gonna be packing in my hospital bag just thought that I would share because I know some people are curious I was always very very curious let's get building this baby swing Guys, I'm all about eating healthy. Why are you always putting me on blast? Because that's what people come for, the exclusive. Cinnamon cake. By who? Made it. By my mom. Yeah. Alia, let's change your diaper. Bola <laughs> fritul. Ken, you stink. Oh, foo foo foo. And you rot coloring all over the table, man. Let's change your diaper? No. Yes. Peace. Okay, come. But yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go and enjoy my cinnamon cake. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I think I'm gonna end it here. Eran, do you feel like we're almost there? Hospital bag is packed, bassinet is ready, swing is good, clothes are clean. <laughs> He's trying to change her diaper. But if you guys are watching up to now, then you're the real MVPs. You are my favorite kind of people. If you did make it up to this point, comment down below, cinnamon cake. And if you're already down there, let me know down below what your prediction is for my birthday. Not my birthday, but the day that I'm gonna give birth. My due date is on yeah. December 14th. Yeah. So if you guys actually yeah. have a prediction of when you think baby girl is going to come, uh, let me know down below as well. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to join the amazing Hey Family. We love you guys so much and we can't wait to see you in our next one. Right, Aran? You're damn right. <laughs> love y'all.